Hey everyone! Surprise! I feel like we just did this. Yeah, so <laughs> we generally only stream uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, but uh, Kat had an inkling to stream again. This is you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> only only a short stream though, not, not long. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna make the best of it and we're gonna get as far as we can in Ellie Noir. Uh, we've been continuing the series as our fifth, fifth episode, I guess you would call it. <laughs> He said piss. <laughs> piss. This is our fist episode. So let me know how the audio is, if everything's okay. If we, or we need to lower the game audio or something to make it level. The Silk Stocking Murderer! Ah, oh, Phelps. Phelps! That Welcome! Eat some oh, pancakes! Oh, what was me. that? <laughs> it's a hiccup. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. I you boys have really. a new case. A poor not Hispanic really. woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. Another have had quite That's a right. Since Adalia Fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that I you think you need to put the game audio up. Oh, on our, on our well, mother? Well, Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Muller case, sir? There you go. Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence the witness and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Go out, catch me another villain. And then Rusty right now, he's like, wait a minute, more food. Look at this, it just looks like a puff. That was a nice car. Hey, I like that one. Hold on. Oh no. That's the one like you told him. Oh, that's right. You Richard the stole from that guy because he thought he stole it, but he didn't. Los Angeles and Alameda. You're so kidding. Free, the next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, folks. Most guys would kill the land in case so close to the dead. Yeah. Well, it sorry. means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all. Maybe I'll get even more drunk. KGB on 20th Century Unit. The citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any Century Unit identified. Well, I should probably help out that man with a gun real quick. I'm gonna help you. This is how you aim. Oh, well, we have to finish this story, don't we? Oh, well, we need more uh, investigation points or whatever. It's kind of a mixed bag. You either spend more time in the game doing these side quests so you can get more inspiration points, or. He Don't goes, hit that guy. Whoa, what is he doing in the middle of the road? I seen him walk out and I was like, Mike's not stopping. But why would he be in the middle of the road? He knows better. I think that was a crosswalk, dude. No. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is this is that LA, this is the least traffic I've seen in LA. I've been to LA a few times. Uh, when it's crack early. Crack mm. early or really late at night. Isn't that where most of the uh... Hi, Rella! Rella! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Every time she shows up, I'm like, it's just like, Rella, guess what? I, I just you went, went to go visit PI today. I went to go visit Warehouse 1. This is car 11K, go ahead. Are you too busy streaming or could we steal you for a few games in Overwatch? For your birthday? Aw, happy oh. birthday. <laughs> Um, you'd have to watch me play, though. I'm gonna go to bed if I have to watch you play. <laughs> uh, tell you what, Rella, uh, if you can hold off for an hour, I'll play with you for uh, like a half hour or so. But let's let's finish. Let me finish the stream real quick. I'll finish in an hour and then I'll play a little bit. Cool. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Oh my Some god. Some held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going. Well, that's them right there. No one's in calling an ambulance. Later, Rella. Bye, Rella. Happy birthday. Oh, I missed. Uh oh. Uh. Hey, Zed. Yo, Zed. Uh oh, I really effed up. 
Yeah, I really I jumped that thing and he escaped real quick. Can I restart? There's, I think so. Can I retry that? I hit the one. Can you die again? I need to. I hit the one bump. Oh, okay. I could just retry. Here we go. Imagine this guy's laying on the. I know. Stop hitting bumps. You've got to call for help. This guy got shot, and he's not getting any help. And no one's calling the ambulance. Yeah! You try to do a good deed. Yeah, that sucks. Phelps! You gotta get me closer! There's no G in that word. Oh. Oh my god, this guy's a maniac! You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down. I now. Looks like the same guy that had the store but different outfit. <laughs> you fucking ass! What the hell? What are you waiting for, Phil? Up and at him. Jeez. I feel like wrecked that car. Oh, hold up here, Phil. Yeah, sure, Rusty. There was more than one? Yeah, there were two people out of the car. He was doing almost a dance with it. Code four. We've got two code four. Yeah, two code. I need, I need a code eight. <laughs> You're time, timing it. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code four, but I need an ambulance. You're on learning. Fourth and fifth street. If you hear someone nowadays call code four, you're like, someone just died. I don't think they would be the same code. I e he did. All right, let's get to that. You know what I can do? I'm gonna let Rusty drive. That's the guy. You can drive. It's probably still better than you, but you still might risk dying just because he's an alcoholic. So uh, you can let your partner drive, and it'll fast travel you to the uh, to the area. But I don't do that so you can actually see the uh, the conversation between Phelps and his partner. Detectives. They're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. The show? Yep. Welcome to the show. Naked women and all. I was gonna oh, say for once there are out there. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. So when are you going to play all through, through all five uh, Devil May Cry games when I get them? I actually don't own any Devil May Cry games. I've never played any Devil May Cry games. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I know what the story is kind of like. But uh, I've never played any of the games. as well follow the trail. Hmm. Well, that's pretty cheap. Let me talk to the corner. I need to get back to it, Phelps. Well, talk to me. Excuse me. <laughs> you good. I'm just looking at trash, aren't I? All right, let me look at the body. Kiss the, Kiss the blood, blood Kiss BD. Kiss the blood, BD. Like Black Dahlia? She just looks stomped on that. She looks like she was sliced. On the neck. Oh, that's right. It indicate a great deal of force. It's 30 right now. Still not sliced too bad. Sliced here, and then she sliced several others. She holds on? Public library card. years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? July 7th, 1926. Hmm. Alright. No, I want to look at the arm. A another... Ring another ring. Yeah. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. 
No skin under the fingernails. So it's taking off afterwards? Bone. I know, that's very disgusting looking. Don't like that. Yeah. The evidence in the Muller case me. was solid. That just means you had to have a lot Mendes. of force. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copy. Strangled, battered, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Muller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Hmm. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, Further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know. I was like, who the fuck are you talking? Yeah. Let's go follow this blood trail. Oh, it leads inside here. Oh, it's a hat. What does it say? Antonia. Antonia. Oh, that was her oh, name. Same as the library card. Yeah. Okay. So, some splatter here, but then it trails out this way. So what they do? Like, shove her to the ground, knock her out, and then kill her? Yeah, did they do the final blow here and then display over there? I mean, there's a drag. There's or a was the body already dead and he tried to go through this door? And that didn't work. It was locked. I don't know, but there's a trail over there. Away from the body. Seems like they drag her over there and then they like just put her over there. That's her shoe? Oh yeah. Proximity to the scene plus the blood stains. Both. No way is this <laughs> coincidence. Hmm. I'm just gonna put that back in the trash can though. Wait, what's right next to it? Was that just trash? The cup or the article? Oh, it's a, it's a styrofoam cup. Alright, so there's blood there. I know they they totally contradict each other. Yeah. <laughs> Both! It goes. Was there something shining over there? Yeah. The tubing. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Hmm. No, that's not. That, that's no. nothing. Keep going straight, genius. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Straight. I know. I know. I know what you're looking at. <laughs> oh. Five. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Oh, was she like looking for her house keys and she saw it? And she's like, what the hell is it doing there? And then she got hurt. Oh, like there's blood right somewhere. there. Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. Somewhere here. Oh my god. That's a little insane that there's blood even like on the walls. You know what I mean? That's got to be a code or a cipher. Two, five, three? Could be um B, Morse code. A B C D. No, Morse would be uh in a straight line. B I B A A B C D E and then three. No. A B C Beck. Beck. Yeah. Okay, maybe just the numbers two five three will mean something. I demand a recount. <laughs> Oh, Jeez. wow. Where are you taking us? Out mm. the ladder. Yeah, this is this is very fishy. No way would a killer spend this much time making a trail and dragging a body all around this whole back lot. You know what I mean? They would if they want to prove your point. I guess so. Climb, Mike. Climb. this mark a Maldonado by hand by hand oh like you gotta hand it to them 
The What's letter. missing? It's empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Was that where the bloody note was in? Maybe. Clearly wants us to find these things. He left them for us. Yeah, he's purposely making the thing. There you go, Phelps. I got a new MO. I told you something like that. Or he might just be getting more confident. I'm kind of with Rusty right now. What? Because this is new. Oh my God. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Hmm. So I left your belongings. Can't talk belongings enough. All over the place. Yeah, and splattered blood. I left blood your blood all over the place. Trail points up. I'm trying to send somebody a message, and I don't think it was you. I think he gave you. They gave you clues to like semi catch on, but I think he's trying to make a point. Oh, he definitely is. Like leaving these little small things here and there. There's the ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Yeah, something's it, odd here. That means uh, I'm showing you. Come get it. Are we gonna get like sniped? I don't know. If they're not afraid. Wait. Oh. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. So he beat the shit out of her and then just went. Like dipped his. Is this paintbrush actually just red paint or is it full blood? I don't think it's paint. Oh man. Just like LA. Oh, the other half. Son of a bitch wants her identified. <sighs> Mrs. Antonia Maldonado. 712 North Hill Street, downtown. The husband's name is on the envelope. Maldonado? Mm -hmm, they both have the same last name. You're right, you're right. Mr. Maldonado. Is he trying to frame I think the so. Husband? Hmm. Okay, what do you got against? I mean, is it a woman? Because this has got something against some people with some small feet. Yeah, I noticed that. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we close the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. We can always beat it out of him. That was pretty, um... Let me explain something. Unless you're mad, and I mean, like, you have full motive to cut that finger off, you spent money on that ring. That was a lot of dramatics. You know what I mean? Like, that was a... That was a... That was a, uh, a play. Of a crime scene. Hmm. What the f rooms? Thirty-five cents. Jesus Christ! If you can go to a hotel nowadays, it's like what? Couple Sixty hundred. bucks, the least. Uh, it's probably like a hundred bucks. It's like cheap like a motel? hotels. No, uh, motels maybe like seventy. Oh, it's a boarding house. She did it. Arrest her. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Do you notice when she said, can I help you? The moment she said you, something, someone honked. So I was like, excuse me, can I help me? Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Where everyone sits and enjoys their cake. Detectives. It's his wife. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh no! She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. You did it. Antonia's room is upstairs. 
Last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Well, she looked alive this morning. She was breathing and alive. I even saw her take a sip of a, of a, I can't think of it. I old. get what she means, but that wording was horrible. Yeah. She said upstairs, right? Upstairs. Last door on the left, I think. Wow. I've never been to a boarding house. Imagine it's like Airbnb. Will you look at that? Hmm. Someone's turned the place over. Yeah. That's interesting, huh? Charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Huh. That doesn't mean she wears it all the time, though. That's a good point. Yeah. She was a pretty lady. Was. Wait, did you see that? What? Show us something real quick. Oh, wow. Mrs. Antonia Isabel McDonald. Maldonald. Maldonado. Maldonado. You want to read this? Further to my previous correspondence of August 7th, I am writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled. Your case, docket number 98765, will be heard on September 17th. Okay, we have an address. I am told that your husband, Angel Christopher Maldonado, residing at, and then gives the address, mm -hmm. has been served with the official paper she wants to divorce mm. and, is on, and is on notice to appear at the Central District Court on the above date. Though it is not essential and many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you to also appear at the Central District Court on the set scheduled date. My experience of woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this one can do much to influence proceedings. And if your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me is likely, then it can only help your, help our chances. Maybe it's not a divorce. So this is a, a lawyer. So Yeah, he has a case against her husband. For what? I don't know. Hmm. I want to say divorce, but... I'm sure it's divorce and some sort of... Yeah, uh, but to help your case? You don't need to help your case. Oh, I think they mean like us, like to I might cut have, wages. I don't think so. I feel like it's not divorce. How does divorce? We've never actually, I've never looked into divorce type of thing or even like. Well, your served was a subpoena to appear in court, but like, not like that. I don't think. Whoa. Smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. Someone broke in. Wait, was there glass inside? Yeah, someone broke in. It Maybe. could be domestic abuse. She could be suing for uh Yeah, I mean, that would explain why she's in a boarding house. Yeah. But she still keeps this picture up? I think she just has it. You know what I mean? No offense. If you beat the shit out of me, I ain't keeping your damn picture. Look what was used to break in the window. Looks like so someone the broke slicer. in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. It's a curtain rod. That's not a curtain I think that's a... A, pence, uh, a fence pole. It looks like another half of a curtain rod. Hmm. I wonder where those detectives are at. Looks like a fence. A yeah. bench? A fence. It looks like a fence thing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Maybe. Looks like the thing that they stabbed her with. Alright, so I think... I don't think I need to go that far. Let's, uh... Let's making go. fun of me typing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, making fun of me typing. Um, I do it all the time, Zed. Especially when I'm not awake. I'm gonna check the bathroom. Maybe I missed something. Oh no, I guess that's a closet. That's it. <laughs> hmm. All right, let me check uh, downstairs one more time. And then if I can't find anything, I'll talk to it the- It also does look French though. I'll talk to the older woman too. I'm pretty sure she's the one that manages the boarding house. What's this? What's this fence? Hmm. 
Yeah, I think realistically, I don't think I'll be able to find where he where he grabbed that, He's right? Looking for a policeman. Maybe it's not here. Yeah, he I mean he could have took it anywhere. You just need it recorded in your book. There's something in the uh Claria? No. Try his address? Yeah, I think I'm gonna try his address. I'm gonna get to where he's at, but let's talk to the old woman. Maybe she can provide me more details about maybe domestic abuse? Maybe she knows more details about that? It's possible. You know what? Before you talk to her, some questions, there, there has to been cases like that, just because, like I said, I used to major in forensics. It'd be interesting in a very sick, weird sense that he's killing all these people to blame it on the husbands because the husbands have done something unjust to their wives and they want retribution for those actions. You think he's playing out like uh, retribution? Like he's almost like a... Judge and jury. Yeah. I kill your wife, but you did something wrong to her to begin with, so you deserve to, your fate. Mm. All right, possible suspects. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. Oh, it was divorce. I'd kill every wife to serve me papers. Right. I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. <laughs> Doesn't seem like she's lying. That's a straight face. What can you tell us about Angel Bless Maldonado? Bless you. Ugh, thank you. She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very. That cruel. was her when she was 17? She was a good girl. A little on the religious side, but a good girl. <laughs> I thought those go hand in hand in this era. Moment, uh, I know. Movements of victim. So, what happened? Like, where did she go? What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Are you a nosy busybody? Yeah. Yeah, you seem like the old lady who would kind of want to get into everyone's business. And you're looking off to the side. I say don't. A nosy old hag like you knows everything Whoa. about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. <laughs> She's been drinking quite She's a religious and a Does drunk. Does bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Oh, maybe the husband saw her there? I still don't feel like it's any of these husbands. Mm. Evidence of break-in. Yeah, did you hear anything? You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. Doubt. Bitch, we no. I'm gonna lie, cause there's a. You heard. Uh, You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. You old woman, there's broken a broken woman. window. You old woman. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window. I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. Oh my god. I have a reputation to protect. A woman died. <laughs> Break down a marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband <laughs> two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Oh, you bitch, you took the, the uh, charm. Look at that, she's smiling because she thinks she can get away with it. Yeah. Look at that smug old woman face. Wall and click. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Oh, you mother. Picture. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. 
She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Oh, where's that? Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the El Dorado bar. 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 I'm gonna check up real quick that upstairs. Did we miss a jewelry box? A wooden one? Not unless it was taken. I think it was taken. You're right. That's digging you. Yeah. No, 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 no. Maybe in her suitcase? Ooh, that's digging hard. No, that's just like the looping music it gives. Uh. I, it's not giving me any prompts. Yeah. I don't know where that thing is. I think somebody took it. My god. You kill the woman and you take her charm bracelet? Pretty sure they're gonna plan it on the husband. Or he has it. You think it was someone else, maybe? I don't know. It's really weird. At the bar. If he is innocent, he won't know that she's dead. Come on, Rusty. coming on strong with the ex-wife line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. You're what is anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three. I don't know what a TA is. I don't know what a TA is either. After a while, you just numb yourself. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Oh, okay. For me, that makes Angel the killer as well as a piece of shit. Okay. Now you said okay <laughs> way before I did. I was looking at the text. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Calm down. I'm so mad. That was close. By the way, this looks like a trash bar. Die. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar, how can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah, me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? Sure, a lot of temporary bartenders, all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily. We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a good reaction. Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. That's a good reaction. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Scratching this couch by hand. I told you, that's what it said on the envelope, too. It means I have to serve you in person. Oh, so is this. What's this? Oh, it's the wedding? Divorce papers. Oh, yeah. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Oh. Cruelty. He pro she probably showed up to the divorce, uh, I guess, court. Next to answer the petition of divorce from the bonds of matrimony on the grounds of cruelty brought by said Antonio Maldonado to show cause. Wow.
Your wife should not be divorced from the bonds of matrimony. Wait. Oh, do you have, if you have any... If you have any hmm. why the said plaintiff, your wife should not be divorced from the bonds of matrimony. Oh, you have to, you have to yeah. go back to witness court. Wow. So she, uh, the divorce actually happened. Yeah. Hmm. So she was celebrating. I guess. Missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Yeah, it is open now. Some kind of religious thing, I think. You know, the temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. I think he's. I don't think he's lying. But. I feel like he's still withholding crap. Yeah, he's still withholding crap. I'm still worried about this. 253? Mm. Alright, I think you're doubting. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Hmm. Well, I... Even when you're, even if you don't show up to court and you get divorced, don't you still get notified? Yeah, I think. Maybe that... Well, you got a subpoena. You, you have to come to court. He didn't. All right, movements of victims. Did Antonia Victor. say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Yeah, I don't feel like that's a, a lie. Yeah, me neither. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? <laughs> she managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Say, honey, what time did you get off wood and table? That was a weird question. That's no, not. Oh, wait, I know, but... Can a... I have another spoon? I mean, ha has he been in this bar before? Is that was the, uh, the implication? No, the implication was, can I link you to the currency? Oh, yeah. Well, he asked him what was the husband's. Oh, should we go to the fruit market? Yeah. Wait, why is this not crossed out? Oh, because I can still go there after the fruit market. It's interesting, but uh, that's one he's trying to get, uh, trying to tie up from the other one. Wait, what? It's interesting, but that's that one he's trying to tie up from other. Yeah, what then? <laughs> we don't understand. You make fun of my typing. <laughs> Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Hmm. All right. Well, unless it's shut because they seen her when she died. Yeah. <laughs> he does. Yep. That made no sense. All right. Well, I guess we'll try later. Let's uh, let's go to the husband. I think you were trying to imply that he was just tying up loose ends, like. How about we drop in on the husband that. instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. So basically think about the key points for most of the cases thus far. Okay, so all victims have had... Like, like I said, I feel like it's just one person just wreaking their own justification. Yeah, so they've all had small shoes, shoe size. Uh, they've all been marked with uh, the BD symbol. Except with for one. Except for one. Uh, they... They all had stomping, but this one doesn't have stomping. This one has slashes. They always had some sort of... 
some just mar figurement. marital issue. And they all had their rings taken. Yeah. One didn't have a, a wedding ring taken, though. They just had this one taken. Yeah. The they always had the ring taken. Just a ring. Maybe as a, a souvenir. So maybe? that's the only odd one out. Oh. Aldonado is in apartment 304. All right. Hmm. Funny, they have the same initials. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, level three. And room. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Okay. Watch out for Well, we don't know which one's which, so. Rest them all! I forgot what the guy looked like. I wanna say it's this dude in the red. Oh! Oh my god! Nice work, Rusty. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. He's like, don't call me by my damn real name. Hey, cop that guy. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! He thought about it a little bit too long. wife? Huh. I don't think he killed his wife. I don't think he was there all night. Over and talk to the neighbor. Hmm. Well, let's investigate. Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> What's Finbar? That's his real name. Oh. Finbar Galloway. He goes by Rusty. I would tell him, what are you talking about, Rusty? I didn't call you Finbar. Maybe you got hit too hard. I wonder if you can see the bar from here. Nope. He was kind of surprised that she died. He thought too long about that excuse. So. Oh, like, where have you been? Yeah, I mean, where were you last night? And he went... I was here with the... And then, no, he like, he was paused and then he was horribly shocked. What the fuck? This will take some explaining. Yeah, it will. Doing some late night blood painting? Unless they're getting blackmailed. Hmm. It would make sense. Maybe one of the Like the other guy said, you wouldn't believe me if I told market. you. The fruit market. Oh. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Does he work at the fruit market? Maybe that's how the bartender knows like what he is shoe shot. Shoot. No, he didn't know that. He said he was reluctant to go over there. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. Well, well, well. Wait, trash can. No trash can. I'm just saying. I don't think there's anything out here. Uh, let me double check down here. Oh, I kind of doubt it. The game's music stopped. Yeah. Think you're clear. 
Yeah, me too. Oh, we're gonna ask the neighbors. Oh, I was like, why are we knocking on the door? What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. All right. Is that, you woke me the fuck up. They're a pain in my ass. Bye-bye. Yeah. That's one. No good. Nobody here. All right. Try number three. Hey, sorry about that. I I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> You're gonna get punched in your face, man. LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Why did the camera do that? Well, well, well. Try number four. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Who's so you're thinking you're going to call that one a nosy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, did you hear? All right, so here we go. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado left. Uh, lit. Lit out of here. It says lit, right? Lit out of here and her husband ran after her. Okay. That's what she said. You saw that, miss? Uh, whatever her name was. Aranda. Uh, did you see Mr. Maldonado come back after he ran out? No, he didn't. So he chased after her. No, I didn't. Hey, no, I didn't Phelps. see him. Well executed restraint. Well, how long was she standing there all fucking right night with the door open? Wait a minute. No, I didn't. Did you see him come back inside? Yeah, she le the the wife left and the husband ran out after her. No, I know, but you made it seem like the chick was standing there all night just watching for him to come back. She just testified that he never came back. Yeah. I don't know for how long. But we have to make an assumption that he didn't come right away, and it may have been may have been some time. Like you must have some time on your hands to be staring out the door all night like That's this. That's a hundred percent true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going out the back way. I think. I know. No, I'm not disagreeing with all that. I'm just saying, like, how long was she fucking staring out the door to say, like, oh, yeah, he never came back. Isn't, like, five, ten minutes or, like... Isn't it weird that she was like, yes, I know all about what's going on. Yeah, I didn't like that either. Car 11K, car 11K. It means you gotta go back to the floor, I think. And be sure to buy your... Car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Let's let us. We're KTPL, out here. 11 King, over. Take a message. Brown urgently request your presence uh -oh. at Central. A new letter has been found. A new letter. 11K en route. Be like, we gotta go friggin' talk to the weirdo at the bar. I wanna go back to the, uh, the food market. Crime scene? Why is the crime scene a thing now? Alright, so we gotta go to. Maybe they found a new letter at the crime scene. Maybe. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. Letters, brown and handsome, I believe they are genuine from him. Now we sent another. I really hate this fuck. This <laughs> that was a little tight. You seen the body? Fucking case was not the really best. Oh. Every prom queen, every fucking hick pounding. Sorry, I had to interrupt him in that one. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Downstairs. I don't think I've ever been downstairs. Now the DA wants my head. Uh, here. Nope. They're waiting down in Texas. 
services. Tech services. Where's that? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn. Not really say that. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll follow you, Galloway. Oh, here we, I've never been down here. Technical services. I feel like this is where every IT department is at in the basement. <laughs> you never saw it. You know what I mean? Uh. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued oh, to an envelope. Like what the, is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take Asking a look? Me a Kinda. Go ahead. Maybe. We've been over both documents For pretty what? carefully. Uh, technical oh, yeah. in the basement. There's no chance of prints. Hold on. Have a what? Hold on. Let's get to that good one, that juicy one, in a second. Heap upon the soul Heap by, virtue, soul of by this virtue, virtue of this curse. All deeds, then be thou down, beholding good, both infinite as is the universe, and thou and thyself torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power, though now. Thou, now thou sit, sittest, let the hour come, and when thou hour must appear to be that which thou art internally, and after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless space and time. I'm telling you, blackmail. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? All the things you do are damned. Alright, let's see here. Have changed my That's mind. You Henry would not Harris. give a square deal. Fuck you, BD. Text. Text. Damn it, I was reading that. I'll go back to it. Well, all right, hold on. Is there anything I can. That's why we called you in. Never mind, sorry. I think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. <laughs> you see, Finnis, I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Not yet. Straight through the red line. I don't want to do that just yet. <laughs> I want to get to that. Hey, he was reading that. Oh, I wonder if it'll come back. You can look up Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta move forward with this case. <laughs> I tried that, sorry. Sorry, Zed. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Yeah, well, we're gonna move outside. Phelps, do you mind coming here and doing your job for a second? You have to. No. I think we bust in there and find the goddamn house. Get in the car, dude. I wanna go to that fruit market. You know what? I'll force you. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> That's right, AI. Do my bidding. They it out ready, but they can't. What? There's probably a clue. Check. All I gotta say, it's gonna be very hard to explain little trinkets of hers hooked on string everywhere with a bucket of blood pasted through a whole alley. What's the motive for that? This takes too much time. If you wanted to offer, you just kill her. It's not open yet. Damn. I think there's a reason why it's not open. I would go back to that bar. You think so? Well, you found those matches. 
Well, that just, that would have tied us to the bar if we never actually got the information from that lady. Hmm. I can go back. It's right here. But, uh... Hmm. Can't talk to him hey, again. Honey, what time did you get off of these tables? Huh? I think he's a bit of a gangster. Nice. Oh, proves the point. It was out of order. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexicans love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. Don't tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Yeah. Oh, that guy. He left his dolly. Did he? Oh, he did. Wait, 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 where's he going, where's he going, where's he going? You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time. Can you turn the coining? Damn. Should I investigate that back area? I guess. Cause that guy's, he went back to work. Or he, he booked it. Yeah, he left his dolly. What were you doing? Check the boxes. Hmm. Just picked fruit market. That's where Antonia went to call for a Yeah, yeah, we night. fucking know. I want to open the damn crate. <laughs> what the hell? Glitch in the game. Great. How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Cole? Listen, we just need a car, all right? Oops, sorry. The fuck was that? Oh, he's being an asshole anyways. Now you just like flipped him with the Is that the truck right there? Them physics, exactly. <laughs> Is that the truck? I think. Yeah. I don't think it's open. I thought his truck was green. Oh, was it? Mm. Yeah, I it think was we green. I think we missed them. Same style, but it was a green truck. It was green. Oh, man. I wish I could have followed him. It's circled now. Yeah, because that's what I currently have it set to. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Damn, I wish I had my car ready to follow him. That would have led to something. I'm sure. You can't go back? No. Let's interview the guy. Can I grab one with a lot? This guy gave his wife a tap. They all stare in love and war. Reload it. Follow him quicker. Mm. No, we, we've got to get through this for tonight. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died. But she left the apartment. That was the last time I saw her. The night she died? Oh yeah, that was last night. The night before when she said she's even seen them mm. arguing. You think they were arguing because he she handed over the divorce papers? Uh, not if she told the bartender she hadn't done it yet. Like she was going to. But do you think she went to the the grocery store, got a cab, was taken to this apartment back here and was like, here's what the divorce papers left. And then she died that time. Maybe. Uh, all right. Well, so That's your wife paid you a visit last considering night. Considering nobody's seen her come What time back. was that? Yeah. Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. That's weird. Why would she come back? Oh, he's not. D Hold on. 
Is it a lie? What can I contradict him with? The, what the lady said. Pursuing, that's not really a time, is it? Oh, uh, uh, the time she left the bar? Where is that? Alibi should work. That's what I said. <laughs> All right. But I think maybe the time she left the bar. Guess he gave a time. Did your wife pay you a visit last night? What time was that? Late. Around midnight. Maybe? She didn't say long. Okay. Yeah, cause she... Didn't they say something about yeah, nine? Where is that? Oh! The, the boarding house said she left at nine to a bar. Mm-hmm. How could she be there at midnight? She left at, ni at nine to the bar. I don't know. Maybe it's in Maybe the... she drank and then left to go to his... I think it's the alibi because didn't she say a time? He's a genius, come on. Uh, let's the professor da, 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 da. Husband's alibi. Um Maria Aranda. Go up 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 right there. Were you here last night? Yeah, my wife and I separated and I had kids last night. Okay. Hello blah, 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 blah. Thanks, we'll be in touch. Uh, no, no, no. This is his did you time. see Mr. Melanotto come back after he ran out? Yes, I did. They left out of here and ran out. She said, no, I didn't. She said, Ellie, no, look at, did you hear a dis disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Melanotto left, uh, uh, let out of here. She didn't even give a time frame. No. Um, we have nothing to contradict the time. Nothing about the bar? There's Quit nothing staring here. at me like that. Religious necklace, bloody shirt, husband's alibi. That doesn't say anything about time frame. Uh, iron pick, broken window, divorce papers, charm bracelet, library card, dot pattern note, key, personal effects, lady hat, and blood trail. I think I have to doubt. So if you didn't kill your wife, who did? You better come up with something, Angel. Damn this it. doesn't look good. Who's not that? Fuck you. I love my wife. You're good, kid. You murder your wife and you just sit there as cool as a cucumber. Divorce proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. You got a summons. Okay, She's that's, lying. that's a lie. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Yeah, well, too bad. Because the divorce papers are right here. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Adonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk out of her mind. After the bar. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. She left it at the bar, remember? Yeah. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What difference does that make? Jewelry. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. I don't know what face that is. If he's constipated or what? Hmm. I don't feel like he's lying. Yeah, me too. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. We never found that box. Mm-mm. -mm. Bloodstained shirt found. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. 
No. Bullshit. Really? That's a lot of blood for shaving. That's a lot of blood. I do maybe she use intuition. Yeah. Doubt. Yeah, I wouldn't say lie. Angel, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this. Wow. Give me something, or I'm gonna have you charged. My brother, Ippolito. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado Bar. And? It's not one of my places. Bull. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. Oh. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. I need a drink. I got the jitters again. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. I think we're close to finishing this case. Then we'll end it for today, but Jesus Christ. This market is like the center of everything. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him. Seriously. That line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? We'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter and tell us he saw Angel drag his own weight off every night. This case will be shut like all the others. We gotta finish this case. Sorry, I can't help you, bitch, but... <laughs> Officer's been fired. Help! This is Radio. Try this for the third time. Oh, it's open now. In the PM. Say green chart. Mm-hmm. Well, well, well. Some nice carrots, oranges, lemons. Excuse me. Sorry. Where'd that guy go? I got a call back for that universal chorus line. Mm. Mm. Are you working Friday night? We should go out after. Sir, I'm the. Wait. You look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? What if you seen like three of them? Yeah. How do you know which one I'm talking about? <laughs> so that's his, that's his... Normal face. Normal face, keep that in mind. Hey, maybe you got time to stand around, copper. I don't. You like you were sitting there just a few minutes ago, not doing jack shit. <laughs> Distinctive necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Nope, we're not getting the wrong idea. We can't prove that he did see it. Yeah, but we can also prove that the husband was looking, said he was looking at her. So... I have evidence that you looked a little too hard before. <laughs> Maybe a doubt? Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after hours crowd. But I don't want any trouble, I'm just trying to make a buck. Selling hooch after hours? Is that what's up? Why do you have a whole case? Yeah. 
contact with victim. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. He's not telling me the whole thing. Husband said she was there at midnight. But he's holding something. Yeah. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Okay. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Really? Mm. That's a straight face. Yeah. He's doing that little mouse work, but that was his default face in, in the beginning. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> Shut the I fuck up, Clem. <laughs> well, well, well. Occasional bottle? I wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. That's a lot. Is he running like a rink? Wow. That's a lot of alcohol. That's like the box you found at the husband's house. Yeah. So what are we hiding in here? Hello? This thing needs a combination. Why does he have it? He broke in. Why? He broke in and stole the jewelry box. Why? Because she knew about the liquor? And other people know about the liquor too. Why? What's his motive? I don't know. Yeah, the combination. I think it was, I don't know, location. The dots! I know, it is. <laughs> Sorry. I like how you got really excited, but I was looking for that. I didn't think about it. My head hurts Two, again. 253. 253. Five, Two, five. That's an interesting jewelry box. That is. I wouldn't like it, though. There's yeah, the, the medallion. Charms. Wives, submit, submit to your husbands. husbands. As the Lord. For the husband mm. is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, which is his Savior. He That's, said he didn't like the... She didn't like written. the message. Yeah. Yeah. No offense, we got married in the church, and we did not get told that shit. Thank you. <laughs> Lady Guadalupe? Look at the drawer. Yeah, I see it. Praying hands. But the, like, the charms are taken off individually. Just don't know how to dance the people. Look at the drawer. No. You can't take that dude in. He's broken in somebody's house, Why can't I look at the drawer? Oh, yeah, close it. Hold on. Uh oh. Hello? Cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Scalpel. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. You must have seen it during the war. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. There's smoke in there. Oh, come on, Clem. We're not gonna do this, are we? Damn it, get after him, Cole. Yeah, I don't think the husband did it. I think the husband did beat the shit I'll out of her. Oh, time. yeah. Wish me luck. Absolutely, uh, guilty for, uh, uh domestic abuse. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Trying. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. I'm trying. You should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. 
Oh my god, this guy's a daredevil. Strange that he can betray with blood right back to his own market. Who do you want to be caught? A lot of them do. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road. Come on, shoot him. I'm trying to shoot mind. out his tire. Wish me luck. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. That's a direct pin right there. What happened to your hat, man? I think he got punched and never put it back on. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. I don't like the face he gave you. Outstanding job on this case. Oh my god, Rusty, really? The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. <laughs> I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. I want all this booze for myself. This motherfucker. <laughs> oh, free alcohol. All right. Comes with the perks of the job. The oh, silks. you only missed one. I missed one question and I missed one clue. Okay. That's it, guys. Oh, thank you for thank you for sticking with us, Dad. <sighs> I feel like Zed felt like it was a damn murder mystery. He was like. <laughs> But then if I knew, you asked the wrong stupid question. Yeah, I love the fact that these aren't like, <laughs> it doesn't, it's not like a three hour thing. It's like an hour and a half story. You get a closed case. You get to find out that, you know, the final thing and you're done. Oh, sorry. All right. Well, uh, today was a special day. So we'll check you guys. Um, Friday. Friday. Sorry. We may have something different planned or we may do another, uh, Gotta start playing this. Right? <laughs> we'll either play this again, because I'm loving the stories. I like, I think when you first start off, it's like a how to maneuver the game, which isn't bad. But, um, oh, yay. I influenced an order. LA, hey. LA New War, you can sponsor us now. No, they can't. Um, Team Bondi's done. Um, anyway, I was going to say. But then, like, as you get, um, more progressive like then you're just like wait what because yeah. like it's not only that it's like that case is happening like this whole thing's ongoing and then you got that quack of a doctor that plays in the background too so yeah all right see you guys ready Bye. things to post